Hi ladies, hi everyone, welcome to this pregnancy session. So today we're gonna see what kind of exercise, pelvic floor and core exercise you can do during the pregnancy or at the end of your pregnancy. If you just give birth, then great. So you can do the exercise with us, it's completely safe for you. So we, if you want to, uh, to start again working on your pelvic floor muscle and gently start working on your core I'm happy if you join us, that's completely safe for you. So we're gonna do also another training tomorrow for a postnatal woman, but if you're here, that's perfect. So before to start the exercise, we're gonna see why it's important to do this kind of exercise we're gonna see together. Okay. And also we're gonna see why we're gonna do this exercise. So before to start, you need to keep in mind that there is three important muscles we're going to work on today. The diaphragm muscles, the TVA muscles, the transversal abdominis muscles, and the pelvic floor muscles. So the three muscles are collectively working together to create a kind of cylinder just around the lower back and the pelvis. And that cylinder just provides some stability when you lift, when you bend, and also when you walk. That's why these three muscles are really important. So during all the exercise, we're gonna work a bit of this on these three muscles because there is no just one pelvic floor or one breathing or one core exercise, okay? When we do pelvic floor, we work also on the core, also on the breath, the same. When we do core exercise, we do pelvic floor, breath. We are working on these three muscles. So we're gonna start talking about the breath. So the breath, is the backbone of every exercise we're gonna see, pelvic floor and core. So the breath is starting with the diaphragm muscle. So the diaphragm muscle is all of you to breathe in and breathe out. When you're gonna breathe in, so you take some hair, the chest case is opening, the diaphragm muscle, it's there, it's just under the ribs, is gonna go down, okay? When you breathe in, when you breathe out, when you exhale, the hairs go outside and the diaphragm muscle is doing that movement, okay? In and up, holding everything in and up. That's why every exercise we are going to do, it's always on the exhale, okay? During the pregnancy, we always do the exercise on the exhale to pull up the bump and, uh, and everything up, okay? And if you just give birth after delivery, we're gonna use this breath out also to put every organs up. Okay, that's why it's really important to always work on the breath out. So this is for the diaphragm muscles. The other muscles we're gonna talk about is the, the abdominal muscles. So there is a lot, but we're gonna talk about two. So there is the first, the six pack and the TVA muscle. So first, the six pack, they are there. And you're gonna use your six pack, for example, every time you're gonna do a crunches, like that, okay? And every time you're gonna do a crunches, you're gonna see that your tummy is going a bit outside and you can feel a little bit of pressure on the pelvic floor, okay? That's why don't try to do any crunches or any six pack exercise during the pregnancy and after delivery because every time you're gonna do that, you're gonna do a pressure on the pelvic floor and a pressure on your tummy and for the exercise, every exercise we're gonna do is to avoid that pressure. So no six pack. And after, there is the transverse, the TVA muscle. So the TVA is just around the tummy like that, like a belt and this TVA, when you work, is holding everything in and up. That's why we want to work more on the TVA and less on the six pack. The TVA is like the muscle you can track when you put your favorite pant after summer or after pregnancy and you try to close that button, you need to put everything in and up to close your pant. It's exactly that sensation, okay? You pull everything in and up. And also the great news about the TVA, it's every time you work on that TVA, there is a synergy in between the TVA and the pelvic floor and so every time you work on that TPA, you're gonna engage the pelvic floor. And the pelvic floor, what is that? So the pelvic floor is a lot of different muscles who are working together and these muscles 
or in between the pubic bone you can feel just there if, if you put your um, your hand on your tummy you go down and you will feel a bone there is the big pubic bone and so in between the pubic bone and the coccyx bone the bone you can feel in between the buttocks okay and they are like that Up. so we're gonna imagine this is our pelvic floor okay so there is some muscles on the pelvic floor more in the front to hold the pee and hold your urinary stream for example but just one thing don't do that when you're on the towel on the toilet okay don't try to step your urina urinary stream because it's not something great to do and it's gonna give you give your bladder wrong information so don't try to do that when you do your pelvic floor it's sitting on the floor lying on the back but not on the toilet okay so, so there is some muscles in the front there is also some muscles in the back more to hold the wind or to hold like quite stool and there is some muscles in the middle to close the vagina lips okay so this muscle or you can imagine is a bit like that okay and all these muscles are not still okay they are moving on your breath and these muscles are moving with your diaphragm muscles so the, the first muscles we we just see so the diaphragm muscle is there the pelvic floor is there every time you breathe in remember hair inside the chest case open diaphragm is doing that the pelvic floor is gonna do exactly the same when you breathe out you exhale the diaphragm is going up holding everything and the pelvic floor is doing exactly the same movement okay that's why it's really important to work on the breathe out because every time you breathe out the pelvic floor holds everything in and up okay so during pregnancy you need to do a bit of pelvic floor exercise but not every day okay like not every time every hour okay you can do a bit during the day and then you rest and you do the other exercise the day after okay because during pregnancy it's important to know how to contract the pelvic floor to hold everything in and up but it's also important to know how to relax it okay for the delivery so don't do like squeezing like that try to hold every time the pelvic floor no you see it you do your pelvic floor we're gonna see few you. your pelvic floor exercise and after you do something else okay don't do that every day so uh, first the pelvic floor so we're gonna before to do the exercise we're gonna try to feel the muscles on your pelvic floor just for you to feel it a bit more so you're gonna sit like that okay if it's not too comfortable you can put one pillow here one pillow there and you're gonna try to just put one buttock on the side and one buttock on the other side so you're gonna be tuck, tuck, like that so first, you roll out the shoulder and you're gonna slightly tilt the pelvis slightly on the back, like that, okay? And we're gonna start and we're gonna try to feel the muscles more in the back, the back of uh, the pelvic floor. So you're gonna breathe in, you try to relax the tummy, the tummy is in place a bit. And while you breathe out, you're gonna try to imagine you want to hold the wind, hold the wind inside. So breathe in, relax, and breathe out, hold the wind, breathe in, relax, and out, you hold the wind. When you do this exercise, you can feel a small movement there on the back of the tummy going in and up, okay? This is the lower transverse muscles, okay? So it's normal. If you feel that the tummy is being a bit hard, like if you feel a bit of pressure, that means you use more your six pack. You need to have the tummy really relaxed, okay? So for the back of the pelvic floor, you will need to feel a small movement going in and up. If you don't really feel it, or if you are not sure, you can put your finger just on your coccyx bone and you will feel a small movement going in and up, like that, okay? So if you're not sure, you can do that. You put your finger on your coccyx bone and you will feel a small movement. Sorry, gonna stay like that. Then, so this is the back of the pelvic floor. 
Now you're gonna tilt the pelvis a little bit forward, okay? And you're gonna put your wrist, you're gonna sit on your wrist. Up, just like that, okay? So curl a bit forward, shoulder relaxed. And we're gonna do the same and you're gonna try to imagine you want to hold the pee, okay? So we're gonna work on the front of the pelvic floor. So you breathe in, relax everything. And while you breathe out, you're gonna try to hold the pee. Breathe in, relax. And breathe out, you hold the pee. Breathe in, relax. And breathe out, you hold it. And you relax. And you will feel a small movement in the form going in and up, like that. Okay? So this is the pelvic floor. So just keep that contraction in mind. And we're gonna do that now lying on the back. So if you're uh, really pregnant or at the end of the pregnancy and if the position lying on the back is not comfortable for you You can put a little pillow just under your head and under your shoulder just to be a little bit sitting So let's go. We're gonna go on the back And we're gonna start to work on these three muscles. So the diaphragm, the TVA and the pelvic You just sit, you're gonna bend the knee, you try to relax everything. Don't put your knee too much open like that or too much close, just in the middle. You put a bit of space in between. Okay, you just sit like that. So we're gonna start. Oh, there. Okay. So first, we, you're gonna just breathe. We're gonna try to fill the diaphragm muscles. So you're gonna put your hands on your tummy like that and you're gonna breathe in. And out and breathe in and breathe out so you see you're gonna you're gonna feel um, your tummy going going inflate like inflated and deflated when you breathe out okay just a movement like that so if you're really pregnant your hand is not here but mostly here okay but I'm gonna do like that. So this is the breathing. So now we're gonna try to do the breathing plus every time you're gonna breathe out, we're gonna try to engage the transverse muscles. So every time you're gonna breathe out, you're gonna try to pull a bit the tummy inside and up. Okay, so breathe in and breathe out. in relax and out and in and out okay so now we work on the breath and on the transverse muscles so now we're gonna add add these two movements of the pelvic floor contraction so every time you're gonna breathe out you're gonna imagine you're gonna try to hold the back of the pelvic floor then the front of the pelvic floor and then you pull a little bit the tummy inside okay so let's start again breathe in breathe out close the back the middle the front pull the tummy a bit more inside and breathe in and breathe out hold the back the front of the pelvic floor and you relax so when you do this exercise you will feel a little movement of your pelvis going like that going on the floor okay it's a small one and that's normal okay don't try to push it too much okay because if you do that you're gonna use your six pack here and not the transverse muscles okay so breathe in out hold it back the front and then let's try to pull a little bit the tummy inside. So this exercise, you can start to do it at home with the pelvic floor also exercise. You can do 10 breathing like that to start and to start to feel everything. And uh, the next week we're gonna see a different position and other exercise you can do during pregnancy. So if, if you have any questions, just ask me on Instagram and I will see you soon.